in Acts, it says this. 20, verse 32. And now, I commend you to God and to the message of His grace, a message that is able to build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are sanctified. I pray that you have God's grace today, and I pray that you are built up today in that grace. I pray that you are accepting your inheritance from God. Thank you, God, for your unconditional love. Thank you, God, for your constant guidance. How often do we truly listen to ourselves, to our own thoughts, to our conversations with others? We can learn so much about ourselves when we do listen. I've listened in the past and I've said to myself, did you really say that? Why did you say that? Where, where did that come from? Have you ever had a conversation like that with yourself? However, there is a deeper level of listening that brings out an even greater understanding. In silence, you listen to the indwelling Spirit of God. The message you listen to is one of grace. And sometimes it's so pure, so loving, so accepting that we can't accept it. That we, we push it off. We say, no, I'm not deserving of that. God's assurance tells us we are loved unconditionally. The wonder of grace which is God's love in action, is that that is the undefinable good, the undefinable love, the message of love and acceptance. The more that we want to be loving and accepting of ourselves and others, we allow this grace to come in us, and then to overflow from us onto others. Grace builds us up, and it directs us in living a life that blesses us and others. And you'll find, listening to yourself, talking to others, that you are overflowing grace, a higher language than your own. And you'll often say, did I really say that to the other person? And then you'll smile inside, a soul smile, and say, thank God that I did. I wonder where that came from, we say. And we realize it didn't come from us. It came from God. And we didn't stop it from coming through us, as us. I pray today that you... Listen to the message of God's grace. That you speak the message of God's grace. That it builds you up and through it that you are able to build up others. That you're able to accept your inheritance and you're able to give it away to others.